Okay, so anybody who sees this, you need to write in and identify each of those, each of those 70s lines. <laughs> bass lines. That's right. And the last one, I want to see if y'all remember, okay? Most of y'all weren't even born. Your parents weren't even born. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Miller, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, and this is the brand new P5R mm -hmm. from Sire. Man, great sounding bass, and yeah. obviously it sounds fantastic when you're playing it. When you want, like, solid, hold a band together, meat and potatoes bass, this is the one. And this has a, roadwood, a rosewood fingerboard, right. which is uh, for your finger style. This is what you want. Just a classic P pickup, and you can't go wrong. You know, you can't go wrong. You just sit there. You could just go. That's all you need. You Man. can just go. That thing has a round tone to it, still yeah. articulate on top, and the bottom end is just mm -hmm. solid. Mm -hmm. That's an alder body. Yes. It's got the roasted hard maple neck, which makes it very even, no yeah. matter where you're playing along the neck. Yes, yeah, it's even, mm -hmm. very even. This is very much a, a vintage style bass. It has their vintage S, uh, Sire's vintage S uh, bridge on that, yeah. and that's the fat precision pickup that's in that that gives you that massive tone. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, there's nothing that sounds like this, and this is with still, <laughs> round mount strings. Right. You, know, you put some flats on here and you're ready to go. Right. You know, don't pluck anything. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have uh, uh, too much success with that, but, but holding it together, just playing the bass, you know. The other thing that uh, is, is so fantastic about the Sire basses is that edgeless fingerboard, the way they roll the fingerboard edges so it stays comfortable. It feels like you've been playing that bass for 10 years. You know what it feels like? It feels like an upright bass. Huh. You know, like there's nothing, it just feels like a piece of wood that's just naturally curved. Uh -huh. you, know, you don't feel like the, you don't feel it end. Yeah, it's got the top end if you want it. If you want it, yeah, yeah. I said before, if you want to plug, but no, you can. And it's very aggressive sounding. You yeah, know what I mean, so yeah, absolutely. That's a base that's going to cover a lot of ground for you, given that it's a straight ahead, yeah. vintage style. Like most sire bases, you know, this it's a wide range. You kind of decide where your center is, but don't worry about being locked in because you can go this way a lot, you can go that way a lot with any of these sire bases, including this. This P bass, mm -hmm. and I know one of the reasons that uh, that you're uh, representing Sire is the the combination of quality and tone and playability at just a fantastic price point makes this a great bass for a career bass player, yeah, or someone who wants a second bass, or a guitar player who needs a bass for their studio, or a studio that needs a bass. I mean, it covers a lot of ground. Exactly, this is like a bass that you're starting to see everywhere. You mm -hmm. know, you're starting to see it in bass professional bass players' hands. You know. Um, on TV, I'm seeing a lot of them, you know, and uh, even guys who are dedicated to a five-string bass or a six-string bass, you'll see them with a sire on the stand, you know, ready to go if necessary. And I, I find myself in the same situation, you mm -hmm. know. Like uh, I did a, a show at the Hollywood Bowl that uh, featured uh, songs from black cinema, right? So a lot of Isaac Hayes, a lot of Curtis Mayfield, a lot of stuff. Man, I said, wait. Let me get the sire out, <laughs> you know, yeah. and get the job done. So uh, it's a really uh, cool thing. A lot of parents whose teenage kids, you know, want to um, try the bass, you know, they don't want to spend a lot of money, but they end up getting their kids a bass that the kid is then going to have to learn to get around the deficiencies of the bass, and then you're going to maybe develop some bad habits. So now, you know, get a sire. It's not going to be like the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest bass, 
but it's going to be the cheapest basis quality that your kid, if, if your kid is serious, will be able to play for a very long mm -hmm. time. So, Right, the awesome. value's there. Yeah, the value's there. Right. Marcus, thanks so much for showing off the P5R to us. It's the latest version of the P5, which, of course, has been in line with the Maple fingerboard. Yeah. Now with the addition of that Rosewood fingerboard. The Rosewood, yeah. Yet another possibility in the ever-expanding line of Marcus Miller sire basses. Exactly. Yeah, no, this is... This is a really cool instrument, and then, you know, all I end up doing, even after this interview is over, I'm going to just be playing all the old bass lines. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, just knocking them out. You know, they, okay, which is the next one? Yeah. Come on now, write me. I want to. I want to. I want to know if you recognize any of these songs. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Marcus. We appreciate you coming in today. It's always a pleasure to have you here at Sweetwater. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be Come here. Come back Excellent. soon. Absolutely. Great to see you. All Will right. you play us out? Give us a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you.